Hey everybody, I'm meteorologist Rodney Harris. The tropical storm Claudette finally developed early on Saturday morning at 5 o'clock Eastern, about 45 miles southwest of New Orleans. As you can see, as of 8 o'clock on Saturday morning, the center of Claudette is already now north of New Orleans. And what I want to point out is how far north and east the rain is away from the center of Claudette. So you can see that rain already impacting parts of Alabama and Georgia. So our rain chances in Metro Atlanta will come soon sooner starting this afternoon. We want to make sure and get right to this forecast for you. For the rest of the morning, it's still dry, but by Saturday afternoon, by 3 o'clock, we'll start to see some scattered showers. The stuff this afternoon will not be heavy, but there will be scattered showers, and that will continue into Saturday evening. Now, the heaviest rain is still expected late Saturday and early on Sunday morning. You can see that band of heavy rain moving through by 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. So when you wake up Sunday, you will continue to see rain. But then what's left of Claudette will quickly move east of Metro Atlanta. So by Sunday afternoon, we'll start to dry things out and it'll definitely be dry by Sunday night. Now from today through Sunday night alone, we're still forecasting quite a bit of rain. What you see in orange over Metro Atlanta, really over a good chunk of Metro Atlanta, that's at least two inches of rain that's forecast here over the next 48 hours. And we're still seeing totals getting as high as five inches, especially south of Atlanta. So we are under a flash flood watch that will continue through Sunday night. So keep that in mind. Of course, we'll be here and we'll let you know if we actually see any flash flooding, but that risk will be here, especially as we go into Sunday morning. In addition to the flood threat, we also have a very low end risk of a tornado. This is normal with tropical systems. You can see this green here on our tornado map that represents a very low risk, but it's not non-existent. Notice how that green starts to move south of Atlanta, especially early on Sunday morning. So if you're north of I-20, uh, you don't really have a tornado risk, but south of I-20 is where we're going to start to focus on tonight. This is about two o'clock on Sunday morning from Carrollton, really from Atlanta down toward Covington and southward. There is that low end risk of an isolated tornado and then it'll quickly move out by Sunday afternoon. So we'll certainly see some rain and there's also the opportunity of again a very low end tornado risk early on Sunday morning. So here is the latest forecast for Claudette. You can see it moving northeast and right over Georgia, really right over North Georgia Sunday afternoon. But what's new with this particular forecast is it's weakening as it moves toward Georgia, but now the models are forecasting this to become a tropical storm again on Monday once it moves into the western Atlantic. So that's something else that we will be tracking for you here at CBS 46. For Saturday, rain starting this afternoon, 79 degrees is your high temperature. We are still in storm mode, especially Sunday morning for the risk of flooding and a low end risk of a tornado. By Sunday evening, the rain is over. Now, Monday and Tuesday, we still have scattered rain in the forecast. That's not associated with Claudette. That's because of an approaching cold front. Once that cold front clears us on Tuesday, we'll go back to drier weather for Wednesday and Thursday of next week. We'll keep you up to date on Claudette throughout the day.